Edwin Anthony here again, back at it with another Shopify tutorial. Uh, if you're new to this channel, if you like tutorials, anything related to Shopify, I hope that you could definitely subscribe with us. Uh, but right here in this topic, what we're going to talk about today is important footer links. Now, you know how you guys uh, build your website and everything looks nice and dandy, but then that footer link looks kind of empty. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this below, boom. It looks something like this. It's like, oh, what do I put? What's going on? Well, one thing is the Powered by Shopify and all this stuff, I teach you guys how to do that in another video. So check out that other video. Uh, I will post on a link or I'll put it in on the description, but this stuff right here, it needs, it needs some help. It needs some help. And you guys need to have something that looks very decent. That's what this video is about. If you like tutorials like this, uh, don't forget to hit that smash, smash like button. Uh, definitely helps out so that I could go ahead and create more videos like this. And of course, if you have any more ideas on what needs to be out there so that I could teach you, let me know and I'll create a video for you. Let's get started. So footer, 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 footer. If we go right here to where it says navigation, footer menu, just search. That's it, right? Let's get to work on this. Click on footer menu. We don't need a search. We got that all the way at the menu. Like people don't need a search. What we do need is an about us. So an about us page is definitely very, very important. If you don't have one, I guess we should start there. Let's go where it says pages. All right. So pages kind of like an about us who we are. We are amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can put whatever you want, but on this type of page, hold on, on this type of page, what you want to do is kind of explain yourself, why are you doing this business? Why did you start this business? Um, what motivated you to start this business? That's why it's very important. So go ahead and type in all the amazing things as to why you started your business as an entrepreneur. And then you go ahead and press save right there. Once you do that, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna create a contact us page, right? So you're gonna type in contact us, okay? And we're gonna go right here with Turbo. It gives us a link for contact us. You can put your name, phone number, whatever it is right there. But typically, because it's a forum, I would say something like this. If you have any questions about your order, or you just wanna say hi, I'm down for it. Just fill out the form. And I'll call you. <laughs> or something like that, right? Um, you know, make it genuine, right? And then it should look something very generic like this. Nothing crazy, but that's from uh, the Turbo theme. By the way, guys, Turbo theme, that's the way to go. Link in the description below. All right, so we have that there. We have contact us, we have who we are, terms of services. Terms of services, just so that you guys understand what that means. It's basically telling the story as to what happens when someone buys onto your website. So what are the rules, right? What are, what are the terms? Um, you know, upon purchase, what's going to happen is this, this, and that, you know, we have a no refund policy. We have this and it's the term and conditions. That's what it is. And if you guys have no idea how to write that up, there's several ways to get this. First of all, you go right here to where it says settings and click on where it says legal. And then from here, you could kind of like have Shopify generate one up for you. Click on this. Okay. And yeah, press re replace. And then you could kind of see what they write about, right? You could grab all of this, put it in a Word document or in a Google Docs or whatever. And this is kind of like edit all of this stuff, right? You edit all this stuff here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to like copy all of this. And I think this is fine for now. Like I'm not going to sweat it. So I'm going to go right here and press save. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to online store into pages again. And I'm going to click on right there, get rid of all the other stuff, okay? And then just kind of like delete that and then press paste right there and then save, okay? You could do that if you want, but I would suggest you to have something like well written up or if you want to get out, grab an attorney or something like that, it's totally up to you. The next page that you want to do 
that's very important is a privacy policy. Privacy policy, what, what's that all about? Privacy policy, what it means is that you're not going, your website is not going to steal anybody's information. Okay, I'm gonna press save for now. What it means is that, you know how like when people are trying to buy from you and they add their credit card? Well, because Shopify has an SSL certificate, it's protected. It means that when people buy from you, you're not grabbing their credit card and reselling it or, or selling their information out there to the streets, right? To the streets or whatever. Um, you're not doing that, right? So you're trying to give people peace of mind that, look, you're using my internet or you're using my website here to purchase your product. I'm not going to go ahead and flip your you know, information. So where do you get this privacy policy? Go back into legals again, settings legal. And then from here, you could go right here. See, you could, you could, whoops. All right. Okay. Replace with template. Yep. All right. And you could grab all this information here, you know, you go right here to where it says privacy policy. Okay. And again, I encourage you to go ahead and edit some of this stuff out. You know, those in brackets are probably something for that, you know, you could go ahead and change insert age like 21 or 18 things of that nature so don't just skimp by this go ahead and start editing some of the stuff and then once you do that you press save and then from here you go to where it says online store pages and then right here to privacy policy again and then you just paste all that information right there and press save all right so there's a reason why they're in both locations one in pages and one on the other side where it says legal because pages we're going to connect it to the actual website's front end on the footer, you're gonna see it. We're gonna connect that there in a second. And then the one in legal, that's all the way in the checkout. You know when you, your buyers go to the checkout, they're in the checkout page. So then on the checkout page, all the way at the bottom, that's when they go ahead and see that stuff as well. So it's very important that you guys do that. All right, so we got contact us, privacy policy, terms of services, who we are. Um, I think this is pretty much all good. There's just one more just in case, okay? So let's go right here where it says settings. We're going to go to where it says legal again. And this time we're going to go ahead and create a return policy. Is it a return or a shipping? Let's see. Hold on. Here's here's a shipping. I think a shipping policies and a return policies, you should mix it up into one. But let's see what Shopify gives us. Create this template. And you can see right here that they kind of like do something like that. We do not accept returns or this and this and that. So let's go ahead and copy all of this stuff here and then press copy. Okay, refund policy, and then press save. Okay, so right here you go back into pages once again, but this time we're gonna go right here where it says shipping policy. Shipping and refund policy. Okay, and then you go ahead and press paste right there. All right, um, and it just pretty much talks about how shipping works. Uh, you make sure that, it, especially if you're doing like Oberlo or something like that, you let them know that, hey, you know, shipping is going to take approximately 15 days or seven days or whatnot. And these are the policies that you accept upon purchase. And you also agree to our no refund policy or non-returnable policy. I would highly strongly recommend you to read this through and edit it as much as possible for your business so you can protect yourself from like chargebacks and things of that nature, right? So we're going to go right here. And we have the essentials. I think this is good to go for now. All these pages are good. They're just programmed into the back end, but they're not programmed into the actual navigation. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to click right here where it says navigation and go into where it says footer. And from here, let's go ahead and start linking some pages. Um, so the first one is contact us. Um, you could just add them all in there and then we'll just reorder them as we go. All right. So you notice that I click on link first. I don't actually start typing anything, right? Because, you know, we don't got time. We got places to go and people to see, right? And my apologies for the kids in the background. Okay, so contact us, privacy policy, bop, 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 bop. what's important to them right there, okay? Who we are, okay? Maybe that should be first. And boom. That's that's the first one. That's a footer menu. And the footer menu should not say footer menu um, because you're talking about like company policies and all that stuff. So I typically put something like our company. Okay. 
I recall, I, I retitle that and I name it our company. So that's the first thing. The next thing that I would do is I would create something else that's called shop, right? Or, or shop our store, okay? So let me go right here and I'll say shop, right? Or shop our store. And right here, what I would do is I would start placing the collections. So we have coffee, this, you know, you start placing all the basic stuff. And notice again, I'm not typing anything. Just kind of like collections, coffee mugs, and it copy pastes itself. You saw that? So I'm going to go right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to press save. Shop our store. All right. So why is that important if we already have like a menu up at the top? Well, it's purposely for the footer. And you'll see how that makes sense in a second. Now let's go to online store. And let's see if I actually have it here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We're going to go to online store. And by default, it'll have themes here on the side. Uh, we're going to right click on customize. And I'm going to open a new tab. And here we're entering into the customized theme settings. Okay. Customize theme settings. And we have all this stuff in the middle, which we don't really care about. But what we do care about is the footer. Right. So I've hidden all of this and you can see how this is right here. And look, notice right away that our company has changed here and we have all of those links that are that were necessary there. Right. So this actually looks pretty good. But if we wanted to kind of like play around with this, we click where it says footer here and we could go ahead and start messing around with this here. So the logo would be the first one here. This is pretty nice, especially if you have like a block style logo. Um, Eventually, essentially over here, you would have like kind of like a, a wide, thin logo, but then over here, you could have your tall logo so they could uh, occupy all the space here. And then column number two says our company, who we are, so da, 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 da. and then on number three, menu, let's go ahead and click on this and then select shop our store, right? Shop our store right there. And hmm. It seems like this is kind of like a little bit misplaced. So let's go and drag up. By the way, again, I'm using the turbo theme. Turbo themes on the link down below. Love this theme because it's very easy to manipulate and it makes your website look very, very nice without spending crazy money on, on, a, on a web developer. Unless you really want something custom, right? Which of course then you can holla at your boy. I could go ahead and create something very professional for you. But this is if you're on a budget, right? If you're trying to get this done to make it look very nice. Okay, the last one right here, title. So this one right here just doesn't make too much sense for me, but let's see what, um, what Turbo has to offer. Newsletter. Newsletter typically looks a little better. So you saw what I did there. Let me slow down and let me just do this again, okay? What I did was that I, I clicked, I expanded on one and I scrolled down and I removed the content. And what that did was that it, it took away this here, okay? And so once it took it away there, you notice that it's three columns instead of four, which if you want to keep it at three columns, it's not bad. I mean, it does it won't look anything. There's not there isn't anything wrong with that. It's just that I like to keep it at four for, you know, uh, how would you call it? Uh, I don't know what the word is. Um, so that it looks symmetrical. Okay. So add content. And right here, I'm going to say newsletter and newsletter subscribe today. Right. And then you have some subtext right there and then they could go ahead and sign up. So typically, what would you say on a sign up? Right. Why would people want to sign up with you? You would say, save 10 percent there was somebody um that made a comment i want to say uh, a few days ago on a previous video asking different ways in order to capture people for emails right and this is one of them when you incentivize people to sign up such as things like this you capture their emails because they want that 10 percent. they like your store they want a discount on their first purchase. And so this would be one of the areas for you to do that. 
right? It's just that you have to connect your Drip account, right? Which is another video that I posted on how to do that. And you have to create an automation so that if the user signs up here, it automa they automatically get into your Drip account and then uh, and Drip automatically sends an email out to the customer saying, here's your discount code, go ahead and start shopping, okay? So um, Drip videos, I'll do that later on, but this is where it all begins. It's part of the funnel process. So that's there, okay? And that's how you get your footer to look decent. It, it, looks, it looks much more decent, it has more content. And you'll be amazed, there's so many websites out there that they use themes and they don't pay attention to their footer and people pay attention to the footer. You know, they scroll down and they get to see how nicely organized your website looks like. All details are very important. So if you truly value this type of content, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if there's extra questions. Let me know if you get stuck. But don't forget to smash that like button. Turn on the notifications. Go ahead and become a subscriber. And let me know what other videos you guys want, including my kids in the background. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, anyways, all right, guys. Thank you very much. Take care.